So welcome back guys to a brand new video now today I'm going to be going through the full big patch that did come to Ark Survival Evolved for the PC, Xbox and PlayStation. There's been a lot going on with Genesis Part 2, so much that has been added and I'm going to be giving you guys all the news you need to know in today's video. Now as always if you are excited for this news and stuff because I know lots of people have been putting in the comments section about some problems and stuff Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here, we are so close now to 200,000 subscribers so thank you guys for all of the support but before we get into the news a quick word from today's sponsor So today's video is sponsored by Hunting Clash Hunting Clash is free to play and available on both iOS and Android. There are breathtaking hunting grounds available all across the world. A wide choice of weapons from sniper rifle to bow and exciting gear like sonars and super buffs. You can travel all over the world in Hunting Clash and there are over a hundred different animals to hunt. There is lots of PvP available through duels and championships and also there are events every single week to discover and play new adventures. As you'll be able to see in the background, this is the gameplay. The graphics is absolutely amazing, one of the best mobile games I've seen of 2021 and when you need a new game and you want to sit down and chill, this is the game Hunting Clash you have been looking for. Once you've chosen what you want to hunt as seen on screen, you instantly load in to the breathtaking place in the world where you have to hunt that animal and once you succeed, you will gain the rewards of what is shown on screen. Make sure to download the game through the link in the description down below. Go check it out, it's a lot of fun and also supports the channel. So let's get in with the video now guys and as you can see, Cedric the lead community manager put Hey, an important update about something we missed during Gen 2 launch and our variants. Sorry about that. So this is what they did post. An update concerning Genesis 2, our variants on Aberration. The list of creatures below were mistakenly allowed to transfer onto Aberration during the Genesis 2 launch. Since this goes against the design for Aberration, we'll be removing the list of creatures below on Monday. Please plan accordingly. This is so the R Allosaurus, the R Deodon, the R Dillo, the R Dilo, the R Direwolf, the R Giga, the R Mega, the R Brontosaurus, the R, the R Thyla, and the R Procoptodon, sorry, are all getting removed. Now, I don't, I think this just means they're going to be removes, removing it from Aberration. I don't think they'll be removing it from the full game, just because I think that would be just crazy. But um, apparently, they didn't even realise that you could transfer to Aberration. Because if you guys didn't know, at the beginning of a DLC, Wildcard usually leave one to two months before you can do any transfers whatsoever on from the new map. They like to let people to get on it, learn about the new dinos and creatures before obviously bringing them on to other maps because they also have to see how the new dinos go and creatures on the new maps because if they end up being too overpowered they have to do some nerfs and some changes to them to make sure they fit well with the other maps. So as you can see, that is the full list that is going to be going, um, obviously removed on Monday. Um, so I think that you've probably got a week um, uh, now. Well, you've got not even a week because obviously it's Thursday today. Well, no, Wednesday today, sorry. So you've got a few days now to make sure you plan accordingly once these dinos are deleted. Hopefully this doesn't, this isn't too sad for a lot of you on Aberration. You know, just get back onto Genesis and uh, <laughs> I know it's not as easy as said than done. But um, yeah, no, it, it is a bit of a shame. But but it just, I, wild card obviously had a crazy launch and that's everything to do with that. So the PC patch notes, as you guys can see, and the Xbox and PlayStation had pretty crazy stuff as well. There's a lot to read through. This came out early, early morning today, I think. So fix tech sensor resetting on server restart. Fix loadout dummy decay timer being too short. Fix dedicated servers having the incorrect version when launched via the client. Fix unable to navigate um, onto the Genesis 2 engram filter. Fix some cases where the strider could not harvest properly. Fix some cases where the net ammo was not correctly dis uh, dismounting players. Um, tech bow H additional information key now correctly displays the shard cost per ammo type. Fix some item descriptions. Updated the Venus flytrap um, HUD. Fix some environmental visuals. 
fix some inconsistencies with the tech hover cell, trick activation text, fix the client crash, fish baskets no longer check for nearby enemy structures in PvE, the Strider now has folders in the multi-use wheel when looking at available dedicated storages sorted by the nearest uh, by, by the nearest to the Strider first. Um, uh, Tropio's saddle was re-added to the crafting stations. Re uh, reduced the Astrodelphus melee damaged. Um, well, I think they meant to put melee damage. Um, uh, turrets will no longer uh, attempt to target the Astrodelphus homing missile as this does not damage structures. Dung beetles are now available on Genesis Part 2. Our, uh, our plant seeds have now been re-added to the general mission loot reward. Um, some uh, Fix some cases where the mutagen could be fed to unintended things. Fix some exploits. Fix multiple server and client crashes and client stalls as well. Um, fix bugs. Uh, a bug where the eggs would incubate instantly. And the server configuration values related to Genesis 2 world buffs. As you can see, um, disable world buffs equals true. Uh, true. This will disable world buffs entirely. Um, to say, uh, enable world buff scaling equals true. This dynamic setting will cause world buffs to scale their benefits uh, multiple rather than additionally. Um, and then also world buff scaling uh, efficiency equals one. This dynamic setting will act as a global scaler to reduce slash increase the effectiveness of world buffs. There was another patch a few days before that which has fixed a bug with the void worm that allowed it to over level. And any over leveled ones have to have their levels rolled back and stats relocated. Fix multiple server uh, side crashes, fix a client side crash, and fix a network incompatibility with the void worm that would cause disconnects. So that was the full PC update. Then this is the console, and the con uh, Xbox and PlayStation is exactly the same. So fix primitive supply crews on Genesis uh, on non-Genesis 2 maps. Added bees to Genesis Part 2. Added chitin and keratin to the corrupted cave meat plants. Fix the bug where the Noglin would cause creatures to become wild. Fix the mesh exploit. Prevented detaching CV to canoes. Cementing pace craft time reduced by 80%, um, which is obviously what happened on PC. I heard that it's been moved from 5 seconds to 1 second, so I think it's the same on console. Can no longer kill other races in the Star Wing strike race. Race dinos now ignore your weight. Fixed a bug where the minigun was resetting its quality when thrown out. Turrets will now correctly shoot catapult. Um, fixed tech sensor resetting on server restart. Fixed loadout dummy decay timer being too short. Fixed some cases where the strider could not harvest properly. Fixed some cases where the net ammo was not correctly dis uh, dismounting players. Uh, obviously, the tech bow um, is now the key is now um, or the button because uh, this is obviously console now correctly displays the shard cost per ammo type. Fix some environmental visuals. Fix the client crash. Fix uh, fish baskets no longer check for nearby enemy structures in PVE. A few of the similar stuff here. Tropio saddle was re-added to crafting stations. Reduced the Astrodelphus melee damage. Um, Astrodelphus homing missile no longer um, damages riders when it is uh, targeting a tame. Um, Tyrus will no longer attempt to target the Astrodelphus homing missile. Dung beetles are now available in Genesis Part 2 as well. The RCs have been re-added to the general mission loot, uh, loot reward. Fixed some cases where the mutagen could be fed to unintended things. Fixed multiple server client crashes and stalls. Fixed the bug where eggs would inc incubate instantly. And then obviously the server, uh, the server configuration values uh, to Genesis 2 world buffs that we read earlier. Um, there was a patch a f uh, two days ago as well, um, which was Fix not being able to play C uh, C4, Fix not being able to start the boss fights, temporarily work around uh, for Strider mission requirements to enable taming of higher level ones, Fix some client side crashes, Fix not being able to start the Gen 1 boss fight, Fix text chat and voice chat not working properly, and Fix tool tips not displaying when the KBM is plugged in. So that is everything guys that is going on with Ark Survival Evolved right now. We've had two massive patches on the PC and Xbox and then obviously um, the uh, you know this is going to be happening uh, where the, some of the R dinosaurs are going to be removed on Monday. Big stuff going on in Ark right now. Obviously you would have seen my last two videos talking about how there is a brand new map and brand new dino coming and a TLC update 
all in this year. There's always a chance that we might get some stuff in 2022, but I think the main stuff in 2022 is going to be all ARC 2 related. Um, I think there'll be some big reveals at the Extra Life event if there is one in November. But that is going to be the video, guys. Make sure to go check out today's sponsor if you want a cool mobile game. Subscribe, leave a like, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you guys later.